Hi, I am Joe, an artificially generated newscaster, and here are some of the most important cybersecurity and hacking news from the last week. Let's begin from Toyota, which admitted sustaining another massive leak. You may remember that just a couple of weeks ago Toyota said that a misconfigured server may have resulted in the data of over 2 million customers being accessible online. While investigating that incident, the company found yet another leak. Customer details managed by Toyota Connected, the automaker's data management subsidiary, have been exposed. The leak includes addresses, names, vehicle registration numbers, and other data. The number of exposed clients is still unknown, but they appear to be mostly from Japan and some other East Asian countries. Another story that keeps on continuing is the one of Scandinavian Airlines. The company's website was hacked by Anonymous Sudan, an offshoot of Russian cyber criminal gang Killnet. DDoS attacks kept SAS website and app down for hours at a time and continued for several days. As soon as the company appeared to fend off the attackers, Anonymous Sudan would strike again. The hackers say they are not going to back off until SAS pays the ransom and keep upping the price. Initially, they asked for mere three and a half thousand dollars, and now the claim has reached three million. For our last update, let's briefly return to Raid Forums, the infamous hacker forum which was taken down last year. As I told in one of my daily episodes, recently a user database of the forum has been leaked by a former member. The database is said to contain information on nearly half a million users with their emails, nicknames, and activity data. Now, after several days of hard work, cyber news researchers confirmed that the data is genuine. They will continue sifting through it, and if anything interesting comes up, I will let you know. Now let's go to something a bit more concerning. Cybersecurity firm Eclipsium said it discovered a dangerous vulnerability in the firmware of motherboards manufactured by Gigabyte. It boils down to a small updater program that hangs out on those motherboards and checks for updates every time a system is rebooted. The checking is being done without proper authentication, and the little program can be hijacked to install malware. Over 270 models of different motherboards were found to have this exploit, although there is no indication any malicious actors had a chance to use it yet. The vulnerability was discovered a while ago, and as per usual, Gigabyte patched it up before we got to know it. So, if you use one of Gigabyte's motherboards or reside on a system that uses them, make sure your BIOS is up to date. And now for something completely different. Amazon has been issued a $30 million fine for privacy violation. Its home security camera company, Rain, was found to have a trove of security flaws that allowed its employees to spy on unsuspecting customers. In several cases that were revealed, the employees abused their power and stalked people in their bathrooms and living rooms. Wait, wait, so did your child come out black or like, kind of like light skin? I don't know. What? The video feeds could also be downloaded by third-party contractors and were easy to hack into. On top of that, Amazon's Alexa kept the recording of customers' commands and ignored requests to delete them. All of this and more resulted in the fine, which is roughly one-seventh of the compensation package Amazon's CEO Andrew Jassy received at the end of 2021. And that's it for the week. I'm Joe, an almost sentient AI newscaster. Check out my previous recaps if you like this video, and I will see you in the next one.